today i'll talk about sophisticated techniques in supply chain management including crp ecr bmi and cpfr this is part of my series of lectures on supply chain management this is my lecture outline after giving introduction i'll talk about crp and ecr then bmi then cpfr so sophisticated supply chain management initiatives include crp ecr vmi cpfr all these require real time information sharing this is very important buyer and supplier share information on inventory levels unlike vmi this one crp the first one require continuous replenishment and use of electronic data exchange or web based technology is required for implementation of any one of these so let us see what is uh, crp and ecr crp stands for continuous replenishment program so continuous replenishment program is a method of replenishing products in real time as needed only for the sold amount also known as water supply method and for perishable products like food milk etc efficient consumer response or ecr word is used these are similar technologies so crp is a method of partnering between supply chain entities crp focus on improving the flow of products in the supply chain both forward and backward the goal of crp are to increase inventory turns and to reduce inventory levels decrease stock outs improve customer service levels and boost warehouse efficiency now let us see what is vmi vmi stands for vendor managed inventory vendor managed inventory is an arrangement where the supplier not the customer decides when and how much of the customer's stock is replenished supplier is authorized to manage inventory so here supplier is authorized to manage inventory of the customer and supplier decides the inventory level use of automatic electronic messages to keep track of the current stock situation is required for vendor managed inventory technique vendor managed inventory emerged in late 1980s when department stores such as walmart moved to automated vmi so what are the objectives of vmi it is to increase in stock inventory and to reduce overall inventory in supply chain other objective is to increase sales to improve customer service and to stabilize vendors production now let us see what is cpfr cpfr stands for collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment so collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment is a business practice that combines the intelligence of multiple trading partners in the planning and fulfillment of customer demand so it combines the intelligence of multiple supply chain partners cpfr links sales and marketing best practices to supply chain planning and execution process objectives of cpfr include to increase availability to the customer while reducing inventory cost reducing transportation cost and reducing logistic cost it is an attempt to address the bullwhip effect because there is collaboration so the uh, bullwhip effect may be addressed in this so what are the phases of cpfr phases include strategy and planning so uh, in this phase there is charting out or defining the collaborative working and communication between supply chain partners next phase is demand and supply management uh, so it is a phase of planning and setting goals then is the execution phase and then analysis phase so this uh, cycle is repeated 
So this is uh, all about sophisticated techniques in supply chain management. Thank you very much.